and it's four to nothing Cleveland. Rick the third, a nice stop by Chisholm. That's a terrific play. Deep right center field, goodbye. And the Indians in convincing fashion, even the series at a game of peace. And we welcome you into today's series finale between the Indians and the Royals here at Kauffman Stadium. Finally, we're ready to play baseball. Still a, a, a very slight drizzle, raindrops falling, but a lot better than it was an hour and a half ago. Edison Volquez, he's finished his warm up tosses. He's ready to go. So is Corey Kluber. He's in the tribe dugout. Our window systems game time temperature today will be 70 degrees. Wind blowing from the left field foul pole toward the right field foul pole. And uh, they're calling still for 50% chance of rain throughout the afternoon. We'll have to wait and see. But all in all, not too bad now. Just no, awaiting the teams. No. You know what? That, that's right. It, it's not too bad. Take a look at the injury report. It's brought to you by the injury lawyers at Elk and Elk. So Kansas City, they're getting some key guys back. Luke Hoshaver and Greg Holland have both been activated from the disabled list. They are in the bullpen, ready for action. At the bottom, you'll notice Kelvin Herrera, who pitched last night. He is beginning his suspension today. It was reduced from seven games down to and six. That's what we thought. He was getting work before that suspension did come into play. But I'll tell you what, for this Kansas City bullpen that was already lights out, you're getting two top-notch guys back. Now, with Holshaber, I'm not so sure he'll be ready to go uh, game on right out of the shoot. They may have to ease him in. But for Holland as the closer, boy, that's a, a nice addition to that bullpen if you got to miss Herrera for six games. Meanwhile, Edinson Volquez, the starter today for Kansas City, is two and three so far this year, but his ERA in his first five, five starts is just 2.10. The keys to the game are brought to you by Wayside Furniture. For the Indians offensively, don't chase. Make Volquez get the ball up. And for Corey Kluber, command of this fastball will be very important. We talked about it earlier during the rain delay. Hitters, opposing hitters have jumped him early in counts. They've looked for the fastball up, and they have taken advantage of that. So we'll see if Kluber can make the adjustment here this afternoon. Volquez and the Royals have taken the field here in Kansas City. And the Indians starting lineup for Terry Francona is presented by Progressive Insurance. Jason Kipnis in the leadoff spot. He's gone three for eight with a couple of doubles in the series. You'll see he's hit in five straight overall with six runs scored. Carlos Santana bat second. Then a slew of lefties. Michael Brennan, Brandon Moss, Lonnie Chisnall. David Murphy gets the start. So does Michael Bourne. And then Roberto Perez, a right-handed bat, hits eight. Jose Ramirez, a switch hitter, hitting ninth. Our Northern Ohio Honda deal is starting pitcher. 31 year old Edison Volquez, who is 2 and 3 this year and a nice 210 ERA. In his last start against the Tigers, David Price beat him 2 to 1. Pitched a great game, six innings, five hits, just two runs allowed, but he ended up taking the loss. So today he has now faced all four d divisional opponent, opponents uh, over his first six starts. Let's check out the defense, which is brought to you by Chrysler behind him this afternoon. It looks like this in the outfield. Gordon's in left. Kane is in center. Dyson in right. Stock is at third. Cologne at short. Infante is at second. Hosmer at first. Perez doing the catching. The crew chief, Jerry Davis, behind the plate today. Tony Randazzo, Phil Cousy, Will Little will work the bases. It's been a while since the Indians last face Edinson Volquez. Remember, he previously worked with Cincinnati and so the Indians faced him but it last uh, time he saw the Indians was almost three years ago in Cleveland and they beat him 12 to 4 in that ball game hard to tell though you know does that matter does that translate the to a completely different team he's facing yeah, now it's it's totally different different team it's different for him he's a different pitcher signed a two year deal free agency this winter here in Kansas City so I think it's all different I think what's more Applicable is the fact that he's faced all these Central Division teams. We know Chicago, we know Minnesota, we know Detroit. So the numbers he's put up against those teams coming in, that tells you he's pitching pretty well. We're underway as Kipnis slaps one right back to him. 
One pitch, one out. Two hours and 17 minutes, the official time on the rain delay. And our very first rain delay of the year, and here we are, what is it, the 8th of May? Or the 7th of May, I should say. Carlos Santana. Takes its ball one. Santana one out of six in the series, but he has drawn some walks. He scored three times. Out of play. As I mentioned to you earlier, I'm a little curious to see how long the Santana and the two hole experiment lasts. If it pays dividends in any way. Well, you have to remain patient with it. You know, give it a chance to take its right. Shape. You can't just say, "Oh, two games that didn't work. Let's go back." The one here. thing, it, well, the one thing I like, they've scored first in the first inning here, in the two games they played. Yeah. Two games, two in the first game and one last night. So. <laughs> I'm not saying it has anything to do with with Santana there, but it's certainly anytime you score early, that's a, a bonus for the tribe. The 2 2 pitch. And the breaking ball is popped out of play. Madison Volquez has the, the fastball. He'll sink it. He's got a curveball changeup. I think that was the curveball that Santana fouled off looking to go on the trying to catch the outside corner with it. He wants to know is that the count 3 2? It is a full count. No, 2 no, 2. two, two. That's what he was asking home plate umpire Jerry Davis. Yeah, the scoreboard has 3 2, but this is the 2 2 pitch. And it was close, but it's outside and ball three a full count. You look at this pitch awfully close. Looks like a change up just a little bit off the plate. Had some runner going away. Good pitch, though. And the payoff popped back out of play. This is one thing too with Santana in the number two hole Matt. He gets down early in the count. You know he had to take one. He was down one one and then even in the count. 